I'm not sure if whenever you wear a Wrangler Hero, you become a hero, but they're my hero because they sell all the time. How's it going? My name's Sean. I'm a full-time clothing eBay reseller, and today we're pulling 25 orders for $519. It's Monday morning, so let's get it. First things first, these are the boxes that I use for inventory. They're the 30 by 8 by 8s from Uline. They are a bit expensive, but once you buy them, you can keep them for a long time. First item here is a Walls long sleeve button shirt. This is camo. Now when it comes to camouflage, you want to look for stuff that actually looks like the woods. Now they have digital camo that looks a little different. They have um, like a desert type camo. The ones that look like it's got like leaves, it's got uh, tree branches, things like that. That camo is actually a bit more desirable for the average hunter that is out there. Whenever fall season happens, a lot of people go for camouflage. This is Walls. It's not a high-end brand, but this did sell for $14 plus $8.99 shipping. All my items have $8.99 shipping, and then the purchase price, I end up accepting discounts, but this will not ship for $8.99. I'll make a little bit of money on the shipping, and then the buyer all in, though, he'll be at about $23, and they're really going to like this piece. All right, so we have this Jahane Barnes. I think it's Jahaney Barnes. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. This one had some cool looking like texture pieces to it. I thought it'd go for a little more money. This brand is one I'm still trying to figure out, but this did sell for $12 plus $8.99 shipping. So right at $21, whenever you purchase an item for $4 and you sell it for $21, including shipping, you're making about $7. That's not a lot of money, but if you can sell 10,000 items in one year, that's about $70,000. And 10,000 sales a year is kind of the goal. But as far as profit per item, I like to make at least, you know, seven to 12 bucks. And that's kind of the range that I live in at a $4 buy cost. If you're buying things for eight to 10 to 12 to 15 to $20, you're going to want a little bit more profit. But a lot of this is just churn and burn and getting items that sell fast and sell all the time. All right, this item here is called Spider Brand. Now, Spider, it's not like Spider Man, but it's with a Y. They're they do like outdoor stuff, like winter stuff. I'm not really too familiar with like the different models and which ones sell for more. This is a quarter zip. It sold for $18 plus $8.99 shipping. It's a good one to pick up, but sometimes the thrift stores will see this brand and they price it like to the moon. So you gotta be a little careful with it. I've been doing decent with it, but I haven't gone for like some of their more expensive, like bigger jackets just cause the thrifts will price them like too high. Right here, we have a pair of Oakley cargo shorts. When it comes to like golf chino shorts, like cargo shorts, this falls into like the golf chino but cargo type shorts. Like not chino shorts, but cargo shorts. The reason I say that is because it's a really thin cargo short. They actually have the rip stop right here, which is actually pretty unique. Now these are Oakley brand. Oakley brand is pretty solid, but if you find Nike cargo or even Adidas cargo for like the golf style, like the lightweight stuff, it's gonna sell well. This one went for $14.43 plus $8.99 shipping. It's definitely going to be under eight ounces. It's pretty much a guaranteed pickup at like five bucks or less. Right now we got a Wrangler Hero. This is a long sleeve like chambray denim shirt. Now I use chambray and denim synonymously, but I know there's a slight difference between them. I think denim's slightly thicker and chambray's a little bit thinner, but I like to use both keywords. It's a little bit of keyword spamming, but it's mainly because I'm not 100% sure when I put it in there. This sold for $14.43. Anytime you see long sleeve button that has like that denim look or the chambray look, you're gonna wanna take a look because even Wrangler is gonna sell for like okay money. It's a guaranteed sale. That's what I like to think about it. I rarely have these sit in my store longer than a couple months. This is the Wrangler Hero Edition. I'm not sure if whenever you wear a Wrangler Hero, you become a hero, but they're my hero because they sell all the time. We have this Tory Richard. This is an all over floral button shirt. Now, cotton lawn is the type of cotton in this. I like to put cotton lawn in the title because for some reason people really like it. This sold for $18.99 plus $8.99 shipping. So all in the buyers at about $28 for this. And I can tell you, I bought this from a private pick. It was a bulk purchase where I paid $600 for about 92 items. Two of those were some Levi denim jackets, the vintage ones. This is part of like one of the deals. I paid about three to four bucks for this one in particular. Great return. I've been selling these. I'm way into the profit on this deal. Private picks are like the way to go if you can find them. Up next, we have a Nike Pro Combat. Now, Nike Pro Combat has 
fallen from grace but it's okay because this one is a dark green whenever you see the performance type gear that it's in the dark green or like colors you'd wear for hunting like the tans the browns those types are going to sell more in the fall this one went for $15.19 plus $8.99 shipping so about $25 is right where I want to be with this be careful because sometimes the sizing can be a little messed up with these a lot of times people shrink these down and sometimes the firm ones fit like two sizes smaller than what a regular size will fit so a lot of guys will buy these thinking they're going to turn into Tyreek Hill or some type of you know famous athlete but this shirt will just squeeze them so you do have to be careful with the sizing and make sure to annotate like hey this thing's a bit smaller it's it's a firm tight fit like make sure you're an athletic build if you're going to try to wear these all right and for the last item we have this it is a Sony Cybershot camera. It did have some damage across the top. I bought a replacement charger and battery to test this thing. Ever since Tech and Sports and Daily Refinements talked about the Sony Cybershot being like one of the best cameras for doing photos quickly, they have risen in popularity. It was already a pretty popular camera, but a lot of resellers are buying this. This thing sold for $59.84 plus $8.99 shipping. Super happy about it, the battery and all that stuff didn't cost a whole lot of money and I only paid a couple bucks at the thrift store for this so cameras are a category that I don't mind looking at but a lot of times I find them and they just don't work so I don't necessarily like rely on them but it is nice to get a nice uh, hard good sale every once in a while just to boost the numbers a little bit so if you guys enjoyed this type of video make sure to like comment subscribe let me know what are you guys selling now that we're going into fourth quarter and what we should be looking out for me personally, I'm trying to do more of the same, but I am looking at some of the hard goods and also some of the shoes just because, you know, it's kind of nice to sell different things other than just $25 shirts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.